to do the Pledge of Allegiance? Thank you. Thanks, Rob. All right, guys, right hand over your heart. Real quick, we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance because, of course, that's the thing that we do. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Give her a round of applause. That means she finished kindergarten through first grade. Great job, Brittany. We are absolutely pleased. Ladies and gentlemen, now since we have spoken to the Lord and we've been able to give our country the representation that it needs, right now we're going to start. Pastor Jay, thank you very much, sir. That was absolutely fantastic. Brittany, that was great. We're here to have a monumental moment for everyone who's here in the city. First, we want to say thank you to all the great people that are in the city. We want to give Nancy Pelosi a round of a don't clap. No, the most funny part about it is I don't, I've never met the lady and you know, people tell me I'm a very funny guy. So I'm just going to say something very funny. The location of this whole entire rally was not supposed to be here on a sidewalk. Okay. Honestly, I was not supposed to stand on a riser. There was an inch big. We were going to stand right here on the stairs, but unfortunately Nancy Pelosi made a phone call and we were pushed off the stairs to the side. Okay. You can boo. I'm not going to boo. I'm upset because the stairs are really nice. They're really nice police officers right behind. First, let's give San Francisco PD a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We don't, we don't defund. And we will also give the sheriff department here in San Francisco a round of applause. Give the sheriff a round of applause. We support the blue. We back the blue fully. So I want to be able is that a real bird? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Live. My man. Okay. So, we're going to get started here today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to make sure that the program runs smoothly. My name is Robert Foster, and I will make sure today that you have a great time. You're able to meet your neighbor. First, we have a saying here with Recall Newsom. We say hello to everybody. Say hello. Hello. And we also are, this is our insignia and the thing that we have cloned as the most important thing. You also say hello to somebody, but you also say goodbye to people, don't you? So every time I step up on stage, on the count of three, you'll say, one, two, three, and you say, goodbye, Newsom. So we're cordial individuals. We're not gonna kick him out of the door. We're politely gonna escort him outside the office. 1.9 million signatures later, we have an opportunity to remove an individual that his aunt wanted to make sure that he was in the seat. So on the count of three, we're gonna say, goodbye, Newsom, and you put your hand in the air like this. Put your hand in the air, and you say on three, goodbye, Newsom. One, two, three, goodbye, Newsom. Excellent. We have crowd participation. Make sure you say hello to a friend. Coming to stage for our first individual guest. He stands four foot two. Approximately his hair is longer than his height. He has an age that is half of my daughter's. But the ability for him to be able to speak and articulate what he's going to say has been absolutely amazing. Please, for me and all the tall people of the world, give a round of applause to Mr. Lucky coming to stage. Come on up here, Lucky. Lucky, can they see you or do you want to get on my shoulders? Can everyone see Lucky? Do you want to stand up over here? All right, buddy, there you go, here you go. Have a good time, okay, be safe. First of all, ouch. I just gotta say that, all right. What is up, San Francisco? Hey. Now, I drove all the way here from a little known place called Santa Monica, and shoot, I was tired afterwards. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. But I came here not for myself, but because we need to stand up. The time is now. We need to fight. The people are suffering. And you know, me personally, I have been tremendously, tremendously, I have had terrible experiences with this pandemic. Um, you know, I have not been in school for over a year and everyone, well, a lot of my friends, uh, children too, we are not learning. We're not doing anything. We're sitting there wasting our time wasting space and was not acceptable we 
need to go back to school and we need to stand up and we need to fight for our cat for our state. Yes. It is unacceptable what they are doing to us. We are the f the future of this state is being destroyed because our businesses are closing. Our children are are failing. And you know why? Because that tyrannical king who might or may not be a vampire, it's not confirmed right. yet. He is sucking up all of our lifeblood, all of our money. He is destroying this state, and it needs to end now. Yeah. I have felt like a human living a robotic life for the past year, and it is over. It is over. It ends today. Yeah. This is not a red and blue and pink and that issue. This is not a racial issue. This is not any issue. It's not a party issue. It is a red, white, and blue issue. Let's make California the example for any governor who dares to try to become a king, who takes emergency powers like a certain governor in a certain other state. I'm not going to name him. Cromo. Anyway, it just needs to end because no matter how long we sit down and wait, la -di -la -di -la, like I did for so long, I sat here for a year, believed the myths. Oh, blah, 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 this, that, this, that. I watched the news some press conferences. I believed in what he had to say. But I will not take that anymore. And neither should you. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Oh. Well, speaking up. We need to bring down this tyranny. It needs to end. Okay, we cannot take this. The people of California, the people, the children of California, we cannot take this any longer. That's right. That's right. It is despicable. We might as well be calling ourselves peasants at this point because we are suffering. You guys are suffering. So Gavin Newsom, let me tell you this. These are your people, your people right here. This is your hometown. They are suffering. So let it be known, your people don't like you, and I sure as heck don't either. That's not the best we can do. Please give Lucky a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Give a hand in the real hand. That's right. That's right. Lucky, do us a favor, please, because other people have children your age. His bird is the same height as you. Can you please? Tell us where we can find you on Instagram or Facebook. Take your time and let the people know. Do you have Facebook? No, I don't have. How old are you? 12 years old. Give a 12 year old a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. What do you have, Instagram? Okay, here, give them your Instagram handle. My Instagram handle is I love soldiers 123 I'm posting daily content. I told you to say it slow, like your age, slowly. I love soldiers, one, two, three. I'm posting daily stuff on why uh, we have to recall Newsom, and I'm exposing his fraud and his lies. Unbelievable. Give Lucky a round of applause. Lucky, you know I love you, man. You're amazing. I want daughters. I, you, when you get older, you might be able to marry one of my daughters. Just one, not two, okay? Just one, Lucky. Don't think about it. Ladies, please give Lucky a round of applause. Thank you very much. I want to acknowledge other individuals who are here also. There's a gentleman who's standing in the back with a golden retriever that has really been monumental in pushing for this recall effort. Ori, come on up, buddy. You know, you're in the program, but I want to make sure. If you see the tent where it says, Recall Gavin Newsom, this is the gentleman who helped us start it. Mike Netter, where are you, sir? Where are you, Mr. Netter? There he is. Come on up here, buddy. Please, please, ladies and gentlemen, give them both a round of applause. 1776 Forever Free. Dr. Courtney, come on up to our stage, please. Magical, magical individuals right here. Magical individuals. Joe Collins, come up on stage, please. Are you doing an interview now? He's doing an interview? He's doing an interview right now. Okay, we'll talk to Joe in a minute. These gentlemen... And I'll call him up on stage in a second. But we want to make sure that you know who are the individuals that made it possible for us all to be here today. It is not about a party preference. It is about an individual who has a certain thought process that has caused for our state 
to suffer.